to Hilda for helping. Every night when it was dinner time, Gladys and Rose found lots of things to do. Hilda always set the table, and she didn't complain. One day, her father said she should have a medal for helping, so he made her one out of a tin can top. On the medal, he wrote in red and green letters, To Hilda for helping. There was a safety pin attached to the back. Hilda wore the medal all the time. She pinned it on her coat, on her shirt, on her bathrobe. Rose didn't care about Hilda's medal, but it made Gladys mad. Every time she saw the medal, it made her madder. Sometimes she hollered at Hilda. Sometimes she pushed her, and she wouldn't let Hilda use any of her things. Hilda had a secret. The secret was that Gladys was jealous because of the metal. One morning when Hilda had the metal pinned to her pajamas, Gladys was feeling really mad, so she said, That's a nasty old metal. Give it to me. I will not. It's mine forever, said Hilda. Give me that nasty idiot metal, said Gladys. You'll never get it, said Hilda. I'll put it in my special drawer and keep it all my life. Not much you won't, cried Gladys. Someday you're going to lose that metal. In the summertime, you'll take it outside and you'll drop it in the dirt. It'll get dirty and the rain will, will rain on it and make it rusty. People passing will step on it and kick it under a tree. It'll probably get buried in the roots of the tree and you'll forget about all your me you'll forget about your metal for years and years. And when you're an old woman, you'll come hobbling and see something sticking out of the dirt. You'll kick it with your old black shoe. What's this? You'll say in your cracked voice. It'll be your metal, all bent up and filthy with the words worn off so nobody, not even you, can read what they say ever again. No, that's not the true story, said Hilda. That's not what will happen. I won't lose the metal, but if I do take it outside in the summertime and if I do drop it in the dirt, maybe a dog will find it and bury it deep under the roots of the tree. And when the rain comes down, it will water the tree. For years and years, the tree will grow. Someday the leaves will come on the branches, and the leaves will all be metals. When I'm an old lady passing by, I'll look up and see all the metals. They'll all be very bright so I can read what they say. To Hilda for helping.